uh, before I turn to Mr. Jordan, uh, I asked Ms. Williams about this, about if she had ever uh, accessed uh, without authorization uh, fellow employees' computer system. Um, she answered no to the question, have you ever accessed anyone's computer system at the NSC without authorization? Without their knowledge, no. Knowledge or authorization? I'm sorry? Knowledge or authorization. You, you never accessed someone's computer without their knowledge or, or authorization. Correct. Mr. Jordan. Uh, I thank the ranking member. <clears throat> Colonel, uh, I want to thank you um, for your service and sacrifice to our great country. Uh, this afternoon, your, your former boss, Mr. Morrison, is going to be sitting right where you're sitting, and he's going to testify. And I want to give you a chance. Uh, I think we're bringing you a copy. Uh, I want to give you a chance to respond to some of the things Mr. Morrison said in his deposition. Page 82 of the transcript from Mr. Morrison. Mr. Morrison said this, I had concerns about Lieutenant Colonel Vinsman's judgment. Among the discussions I had with Dr. Hill and the transition was our team, its strength, its weaknesses, and Fiona and others had raised concerns about Alex's judgment. When Mr. Morris was asked by Mr. Castor, did anyone ever bring concerns to you that they believe Colonel Vinman may have leaked something? Mr. Morrison replied, yes. So your boss had concerns about your judgment. Your former boss, Dr. Hill, had concerns about your judgment. Your colleagues had concerns about your judgment. And your colleagues felt that there were times when you leaked information. Any idea why they have those impressions, Colonel Vinman? Uh, yes, Representative Jordan. I guess uh, I'll start by uh, reading... Um, Dr. Hill's own words, as she, she attested to in my last evaluation that was dated middle of July, right before she left. Alex is a top 1% military officer and the best army officer I've worked with in my 15 years of government service. He is brilliant, unflappable, and exercises excellent judgment. So it was exact, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm it was sorry. exemplary during numerous visits, so forth and so on, but I think you get the idea. Uh, Mr. Morrison, yeah, the, the data that was, um, yeah, yeah, uh, let's see, I'm sorry, uh, July um, 13th. So, uh, Mr. Jordan, I would say that uh, I can't say what um, Mr. Morrison, why Mr. Morrison uh, questioned my judgment. We had only recently started working together. He's, he didn't, he wasn't there very long, and we were just trying to figure out our relationship. Maybe it, it was a different cultures, military culture versus... And Colonel, you never leaked information? I never did, never would. That is, uh, that is preposterous that I would do that. Okay. Uh, Colonel, it's, uh, it's interesting. We deposed a lot of people in the bunker in the basement of the Capitol <clears throat> over the last several weeks, but uh, of all those depositions, only three of the individuals we deposed were actually on the now somewhat famous July 25th phone call between President Trump and President Zelensky. There was you, the individual sitting beside you, Miss Williams, and then there, were, of course, was your boss, Mr. Morrison, who I just read from his, his deposition. When we asked Ms. Williams who she spoke to after the call about the call, she was willing to answer our questions, and chairmanship allowed her to answer our questions. When we asked Mr. Morrison who he spoke to after the call about the call, he was willing to answer our question, and Mr. Schiff allowed, chairmanship allowed him to answer our question. But when we ask you, you first told us three individuals at the NSC, your brother and the two lawyers. And then you said there was a group of other people you communicated with, but you would only give us one individual in that group, Secretary Kent. And the chairman would only allow you to give us that name. When we ask you who else you communicated with, you would not tell us. So I want to know first, how many other people are in that group of people you communicated with outside the four individuals I just named? Yes, uh, Mr. Jordan, on uh, call readout, certainly after the first call, there were probably a half a dozen or more people that I re uh, read out. Those are people with the, the proper clearance and the, the need to know. In this case, because of the sensitivity of the call and Mr. Eisenberg told me not to speak to anybody else, I only read out, outside of the NSC, two individuals. Two individuals. Das Kent and one other uh, person. And you're not willing to tell us who that other individual is? Mr. I, Chairman, I, point I, of Mr. order. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, point of order. The gentleman will suspend. Counsel. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I would ask you to enforce the, uh, the rule with regard to the disclosure, with regard to the uh, intelligence officer. Um, thank you, Council. You know, as I indicated before, this committee will not be used to out the whistleblower. 
um, that same uh, Mr. Chairman, can, necessity can you, can you of protecting the first stop the time so I don't lose the will time? Will persist. Uh, you are recognized again, Mr. Jordan. Mr. Chairman, I, I don't see how this is outing the whistleblower. The, the witness has testified in his deposition that he doesn't know who the whistleblower is. You have said, even though no one believes you, you have said you don't know who the whistleblower is. So how is this outing the whistleblower to, to, to find out who this individual is? Jordan, uh, this is your time for questioning. You can use it any way you like, but what? your question should be addressed to the witness. I'd like to. And your question should not be addressed to trying to out the whistleblower. Well, okay, okay. Uh, Colonel Vindman, there's another thing Mr. Morrison told us in his deposition. He said he was not concerned about the call itself. He said there was nothing illegal or improper on the call, but he was concerned about the call leaking, the contents of the call leaking. He, he said this, he was concerned how it would play out in Washington's polarized environment, how the contents would be used in Washington's political process. Excuse Mr. Me. Morrison was right. Excuse me, Mr. Jordan, could I get a page? Page 44. Thank Mr. You. Morrison was right. The call leaks. The whistleblower goes to Chairman Schiff, staff. Then he runs off to the lawyer, the same lawyer who said in January of 2017, the coup has started against President Trump. The one thing the Democrats didn't one thing they didn't count on, one thing they didn't count on was the president releasing the call transcript and letting us all see what he said. They didn't count on that. Transcript shows no linkage. The two individuals on the call have both said no pressure, no pushing, no linkage, but security assistance dollars to an investigation. Ms. Williams, after the call on the 25th, we know that Colonel Vindman talked to several people. After the call on the 25th, how many people did you talk to about the call? I did not speak to anybody about the call. Didn't speak to anybody? No. I yield.